Hi, this is Eric with Covalent Software. Most of you know Diplomat as an award-winning, high-value managed file transfer platform that allows you to do simple to very complex file transfer and encryption processes uh, with just filling in the blanks and setting up your preferences for that process. What some people don't realize is that Diplomat can be used to encrypt and decrypt files directly from a batch file or a script or some other application server. And you can do that without defining necessarily a process to do that within Diplomat itself. Of course, you can call a process, but you can also directly do the encryption. I'm gonna show you what that looks and feels like. So to start with, we're gonna look at this text file I have here in my temp folder. It's not very large, it's only 375K, contains a lot of text, I can read it, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open a command prompt here, and I'm going to go ahead and enter a command line to um, encrypt this file. And very simply, I'm invoking the scripting agent. It's part of Diplomat MFT Enterprise, and I'm going to use it to encrypt that file with that example key pair. Now, there are a number of different options you can do here as well. You can uh, use additional encryption keys. You can choose to sign it. There's all kinds of fun stuff. You can provide different output paths. There's a lot of capabilities, but for now, we're just gonna encrypt it. There you go. And now we notice there is a PGP encrypted file here, much smaller because it's compressed. And if we were to look at that file contents, that's obviously not the same, no longer readable. It has been encrypted with that key. One thing we can also do in this regard is to go ahead and uh, add an armor option so that the uh, output is actually ASCII armored encryption instead of just the typical um, binary formatted PGP encryption. So this file still exists, but now we have this file here. And if we look at the contents of this file, we see that it is an encrypted message again, but this time it is ASCII armored. It contains characters that are part of the ASCII character set. Great, some people need that. So now what we should do, let me go ahead and remove the original file altogether. And then what I'll do is go ahead and uh, decrypt that file. Now, when I decrypt this file, all I'm gonna do is use that decrypt flag and specify the file I want to decrypt and the key I want to use to do that decryption. Easy enough, that file is now decrypted. Now there's a copy of that file in its original form and its original size. And if we look at that contents again, there you go, it is decrypted. Again, with the decryption, there are additional capabilities you have as well, such as you know verifying a signature, changing output paths and more. For more information, please go to covaliantsoftware.com and you request a demo or choose to contact us. Maybe send us an email at info at Thanks so much.